So good morning. Um, I've had some questions about the Sevilla 123 tank that parted and blew open. This is it right here. I've got my other video that, that just gives a short little show of it. So I've had a lot of questions about what happened with this and how this could have happened because right here is a cap that's supposed to blow open. Basically, if pressure gets too high in this tank, this cap blows open. It essentially turns that stove into a blowtorch. And in all honesty, I, I think what happened with this tank was really a safer alternative than, than this sending out this huge plume of flame. Uh, and what happened with this stove was I was cooking on a countertop during a, a five-day power outage in 1978. And there was fuel in the tank, but I don't believe there was a lot. It made a burn patch in the direction of where that blew out for maybe four inches, maybe five inches around. It did blow the stove back maybe a foot, knocked the pan off the top, but the stove was still sitting upright. Now, this is what the stove looks like when it's all put together. So I had used a pump cap uh, on this blown up stove, and that's what I initially blamed as the reason for the tank to fail. I have not heard of a single other Svea tank blowing, or the Optimus version, or the Primus version. Um, so I'm a bit at a loss, and there's a stove expert that definitely says he has, he has tried to make these tanks blow up, has tried. Uh, Bernie Dog Cinema on YouTube, I would definitely consider him an expert. He can come up with no reason why this should have happened, but it did. So. Um, so one of the things to keep in mind with these stoves is that they are designed for small pots. They're not designed for a big pot like this because it puts too much heat down onto the tank. Now, at times they tried to solve this problem by going to this design where they had a reflector on top. It was just kind of a can design. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure that it worked out fine. Uh, one thing you don't want to use on these little stoves are, is a heat reflector, like a MSR you know, windshield around it. You do not want to do that. That will cause too much heat to come down and heat this tank up. The same with the new canister stoves, which I am not a fan of. The reason all these little pots that we have today, these small bottom pots, like this homemade thing right here, came in to play was because you can't have the heat going down on those canisters. So they don't, they, they like those small little bottom pots. Just to mention, this is basically the same stove, it's just an older version of this Svea. It does not have the same type of pressure cap. Now, I don't know if this is a pressure cap. It's got a solid top on it, as you can see. But it does have this little screw on the inside. It appears to hold the washer on, but maybe that's some kind of a pressure system. But it's definitely not the same kind of cap. Anyway, I don't know if that answered everybody's questions or not, but... All in all, I would not be afraid of this stove. I think it's a wonderful stove, and I think it's a stove that you'll get an entire lifetime out of. Thanks.